Good morning. This is a demonstration flight showing basic IFR procedures and pilot edge communications in the T6. I'm going to be using the, uh, the X-Plane T6 here, but the procedures will be generally applicable between P3D and X-Plane. Uh, also, quick disclaimer, I'm not an actual T6 pilot, so ignore the, uh, the flows and lack of checklists and procedures for the T6. Obviously, use, what you've, uh, use the procedures that you've been taught to use. Let's just uh, jump right into it. I'm going to file a flight plan. Uh, we are already connected to the network, so all, all I need to do is uh, file, pick up the clearance, and we'll be underway from Monterey to Watsonville and back. I'm going to file this as a round robin. So I'm filing from Monterey to Monterey with a delay at Watsonville uh, to shoot the localizer over there. Okay, step one will be to file our IFR flight plan. So I'm on the Pilot Edge website, I click File Flight Plan. And we'd like to file IFR using the call sign Aspen 26. We're in a Texan 2. I will file Slant Alpha. Uh, this version actually does have an IFR uh, GPS, so I could file Slant Golf. Uh, but for compatibility with other models which may not have GPS yet, we'll go ahead and demo this as a Slant Alpha flight. 230 from Monterey to Monterey, 6000. No alternate required with remarks of localizer runway 2 at Watsonville. Actually, let's file the Monterey 5 to Salinas. We know we're likely to get the Monterey 5 out of here, uh, and the approach is flyable from Salinas, so never a bad idea to file a non-radar flyable route in case of lost comms. So that's something we could file and fly. Okay, Monterey 5, Salinas, very good, all done. Flight plan is filed. We're all set. Okay, let's jump into the airplane. Go through this part fairly quickly. Dismiss those cautions. Got some basic lights on. And move the throttle to the start position. Verify start already as enunciation. It's done. Give myself a view where I can see the engine gauges and engage the starter. T's and P's looking good during the start. Okay, starter's disengaged. Generator on, avionics on, and we have a working airplane. I'm gonna leave the GPS off as I talked about. Okay, over to Monterey. Pick up the clearance. Clearance is 35.45. Actually, let's grab the ATIS. 19.2. Uh, Correction, ATIS frequency is 19.25. Commander Ray Penisiba Airport, ATIS Information X-Ray, 1354 Zulu, Wind Calm, Visibility 1-0, Sky Condition, Clear, Temperature 1-2, Dew Point 5, Altimeter 2 Niner Niner Niner, Arriving and Departing Runways 28 Left, 28 Right, Visual Approaches in Use, Read Back All Runway Assignments and Hold Short Instruction, Advise on initial contact, you have information, X-Ray. Commander Ray Penisiba Airport, ATIS Information, X-Ray. 1354 Zulu, Wind Calm, Visibility 1-0, Sky Condition, Clear, Temperature 1-2, Dew Point 5, Altimeter 2 Niner Niner Niner, Arriving and Departing Runways 28 Left, 28 Right, okay. Visual Approaches in Use. So, X-ray, 29999 is set. Okay, so altimeter set, swap back over to ground, 120.87. Actually, we're good to go as is here. I've got uh, clearance, 3545 and ground, so let's give clearance a call first, swap those over, then we'll worry about getting tower in there after we have the clearance. 
That's information X-ray. Just verify that I got that procedure name correct. I was doing it by memory. Yes, the Montreux 5 will work nicely for us. Okay, so we're looking for clearance to Monterey. Make sure I can read my own handwriting. Alright, let's see how we do. Monterey clearance Aspen 26 information X ray instruments to Monterey. Aspen 26 Monterey clearance, good morning. Cleared to the Monterey Airport, Monterey 5 departure. Air vector Salinas, direct. Climb and maintain 6000. NorCal departure frequency 121.3. Squawk 1463. Aspen 26, clear to Monterey. Monterey 5 departure, radio vector Salinas, direct, maintain 6. 213 Aspen 26, read back, correct. Thanks for x ray. Okay, one four six three. One four six three is set and squawking altitude. Okay, now we can swap to ground. And tower will be eighteen four. Eighteen four is set to ground and tower ready to go. Let's get the procedure loaded or Let's have a look at the localized runway 2. It's going to happen pretty quickly at Watsonville, so there's no reason we can't really brief this now on the ground. So, Watsonville. The localizer runway 2. Okay, from Salinas, which is 117.3. We will need that. At least, uh, at least unless we're going to get right of vectors, that is see how it goes. So 117.3 is ready, so we're prepared to fly it from Salinas and the localizer is 108.3. Okay, and I can turn on my nav bearing pointer to point at the VOR. It's helpful. So let's have a quick look. So localizer is 108.3, final approach course is 018. Uh, it's premature to set that just yet. Uh, circling runway 2027 north rise that night. If the local altimeter is not received, use the Montreal altimeter, increase the MDA's 80 feet. Circling not authorized west of runway 220, got it. Alright, missed approach will be right turn 5000, Salinas and hold. With a climb to 5k. Alright, procedure from Salinas. Salinas is a feeder, get to Niles, which is the initial approach fix. Head outbound, do the procedure turn, come back in. It's uh, at or above 3,000 during the procedure turn. Once established on the final inbound, it'll be at or above 2,200 or minimums of 700. And the CTAF will be 122.8 for our traffic pattern calls there. All right, let's get ourselves briefed on the Monterey departure. We're ready to fly that. So it's going to be radio vectors to join the 264, is it? Let's read the text. Off of the 28s, 278 until leaving 1100 or is detected or is directed by Monterey Tower. Then a 329 heading intercept to Shui. Got it. So we'll set the course needle to 264. 264 is set. And the initial heading, it'll be runway heading, then 329. So I'm going to bug 329 now. Opinion is divided on that one. You might want to bug runway heading because that is the initial heading that you fly, but it will 1100 feet comes up very, very quickly. So I prefer to bug the next heading in this case, but talk to your instructor about the preferred method there. Oh, right, get our O2 on. And flaps to take off, happy with that. Run nav and taxi lights. Okay, so I'm briefed on the DP. Relatively well briefed on the approach. Good to go. Find out where on earth we are. We're at the military ramp. It's two eight left, so we'll expect Juliet Alpha, something like that, or it could be Bravo Lima Alpha with a crossing of two eight left. We'll just see what they give us. Monterey Ground Aspen two six military ramp taxi with X ray. 
That's a 26 Monterey Ground Railway, 28 left taxi via Bravo Lima Alpha. Hold short of runway 28 left on Lima. Runway 28 left taxi via Bravo Lima Alpha. Short of runway 28 left at Lima. Asper 26. Okay, we're at the intersection of Bravo and Juliet, and we're heading southeast bound. Nice looking morning out there. Not a bad day for it. Okay, we've got the sunrise going in the east. That means as I'm westbound um, and under instruments, I may have the sun reflecting in my instruments there a little bit. We will deal with that. Okay, press and kilo. Next one's Lima. Then we'll be short of 28 left at Lima. Aspen 26, cross runway 28 left on Lima. Cross runway 28 left at Lima, Aspen 26. Okay, we're on Bravo. Coming up to Lima. Have permission to cross. Approaching runway 10 right, 28 left. Entered runway 10 right, 28 left. Final's clear. Both sides. Gonna go ahead and add the localizer by flight plan on full flight. Okay, short of two eight left. Exit. Open to tower and then departure twenty one three. So tower and departure ready to go, containing six. Pulling up that Monterey five departure. So it's two seventy eight heading, basically runway heading till eleven hundred, right turn to three twenty nine, join the radial. Monterey Tower, Aspen 26, short of runway 28 left, ready for departure IFA. Aspen 26, Monterey Tower, runway 28 left, wind calm, cleared for takeoff, change departure. Runway 28 left, cleared for takeoff, Aspen 26. Okay, nose wheel steering's off, parking brake set. This is runway 28 left. Checks with Mag Compass. Okay, let's hop over to departure. And off we go. That was good. EMU's doing its job. The power set, T's and P's all looking good. It's alive. AD. We're off. Here, flaps. I have flaps up, gears up, lights out. Looking for 1100 on the 276 heading. Cal departure has been 26, 1000, climbing 6000. There's 1100, and now in the right turn to 329. Has been 26, North Cal departure, radar contact, Monterey altimeter 3000. 3000, has been 26, request the localized runway 2 at Watsonville with a mist, then back to Monterey. Has been 26, Roger on request. Aspen 26 cleared to Watsonville Airport, flight present heading vectors for the localizer runway 2 approach, maintain 4000. And cleared to Watsonville now via present heading, maintain 4000. Alright, pull the power well back because this is going to happen fairly quickly in that case. Our maps. So let's bring the localizer in in that case. Aspen 26 for planning purposes. Expect the missed, uh, published missed approach procedure. Okay, I expect published missed. Aspen 26. Okay, 
Okay, verify we're receiving the localized. Ah. Two thousand five hundred. At a fall for two, uh, two point five asthma two six. Okay, and the ETF here is twenty two eight. Twenty two eight's ready to go. Advisors identified. Final approach course zero one eight. Set. Has been two six nine miles from Nulls. Turn right, heading three six zero. Maintain two thousand five hundred until established on the local answer. Clear the localizer runway two. Approach Watsonville. Heading three sixty two thousand five hundred until established. Cleared localized runway two. Has been two. Now to know when we're at Nulls, I might have him identify that for us, since we do not have GPS here and I do not have a second view our receiver. Now, once we're established on localized, we can drop to 2,200, but I'm going to need him to call Niles. All flight's not a suitable form of navigation, so we can't do it that way. Approach Aspen 26, could you call Niles for us, please? Aspen 26, Roger. Affirmative. Thank you. All right, localizer's live, coming in. Okay, we'll call that established. Start the drop to 2200 and join localizer. Start that speed reduction. Smidgen too much power there. Get down to gear speed here. 160. There's 200. Pitching up. Coming back. There's 150. I'll let him call Niles and then we'll drop the gear at that point. Aspen 26 over down. No traffic observed between you and Watsonville at this time. Either report your cancellation of IFR in the air on this frequency or missed approach. If you happen to land, you can cancel IFR on the ground. 122.2. Frequency change is approved. I understand we're over Niles. We will uh, cancel. Correction, we'll uh, call you on the missed Aspen 26. Two minutes and 31 seconds to the missed approach point. Slightly right of course, fixing that. Come down to 700. Watsonville traffic T6 five mile final three mile straight final in. Runway zero three two. mile final runway to low approach only Watsonville. Nine hundred. Eight hundred. Seven hundred. Minute 40. It's two minutes. Station passage of the localizer that tells me we've we definitely missed the approach point at that point. So we'll execute the mist. Gears up. Climbing right turn, 5000 direct Salinas.
where that bearing point is very helpful. Okay, power set for the climb. Gears up, lights out. We never had the flaps down, which I've expected since I was flying the approach pretty quick. Lots of hill traffic. T6 is about two miles northeast of the field with right turnout direct Salinas. Lots of hill. Alright, pop over to Cal. Set the course needle to point at the bearing pointer. Milk our departure Aspen 26, 3000, climbing 5000. Aspen 26, Norcal departure, as your radar contact, altitude checks, and Monterey altimeter 3000, say request enable. Aspen 26, like to return back to Monterey, either the ILS or the localizer DME, whatever's better for you. Aspen 26, uh, Roger, as the information X-ray still current, landing the 28s. I'd prefer to get you on the 28s, but if you need the ILS, that works. So expect the localizer on the 2-8 left approach. Okay, localizer, 2 eight left, understand X-ray is still current, Aspen. All right, 5,000 direct Salinas. We are done with it. Light. And Aspen 26 cleared to the Monterey Airport via the Salinas, uh, Salinas VOR and then direct climb and maintain 5000. Then Monterey via Salinas direct maintain 5, Aspen 26. Aspen 26 read back is correct. Takes a while to get you out there. Go ahead and enjoy the view on this hop for a little bit. And we shall go to Monterey. Procedures approach localizer 28 left. Send that to the map. Aspen 26, depart the Salinas VOR, heading 120 vectors for local edge approach. 120 after Salinas, Aspen 26. Got my joystick here set up to be able to manipulate the heading bug. 120 after Salinas. Set. Alright, this is localizer 28 left into Monterey. Localizers 110. Seven. Set. Final approach course two seventy eight. Seventy eight. Set. You know what? Should still be on sleep. Yeah. I'll just use the bearing pointer to continue over to Salinas VOR. That was a mistake there. I should have waited till we departed Salinas before I put the localizer in. Okay, so it's a, a 120 heading after Salinas. We're maintaining 5, and we can brief this approach. Circling unauthorized south of Runway, Monterey Towers 18-4. 18-4, four. Four, ready to go. Where am I now? I'm heading towards Salinas, coming up very shortly. When I go next, I'm going on a 120 heading, getting vectored. Ray, rank two. Flight plan. Okay, just passing Salinas now, fix the altitude. We're removing Watsonville. All that. Okay, we're in the left turn to 120, fixing the altitude and telling this about our approach. Monterey, we'll do vectors. Not generally the best idea when you have a turning point coming up. Not necessarily the best idea to be loading up an approach on the iPad like that. Okay, continue briefing the approach. So, missed approach from Hill B, climb to 3000, then a right turn 5000 via 360, heading to the Salinas VR be a couple of radials, so we will need Selena on the mist. Go mist. We have some step downs. Those are seen. We can actually start receiving the localizer now. Pop to localizer if you like. 0 0.7. 
and off the nav bearing pointer. Okay, so get vectors probably somewhere between Charlie and Yitted. We've got a series of step downs there Yitted 53, Rodney 46, Waxen 41, etc. The missed approach point can be identified by DME, and we are receiving Aspen DME. Aspen 26, turn right heading 190. Heading 190, Aspen 26. And we get vector down and go ahead and slow down. Minimums will be eighteen sixty. Localizers received. Identified, I should say. 190 heading, just awaiting the vector now to the final approach course. It's coming back. Full of 5,000. It's got us right around Charlie at the moment. That's been 26, it's 5.5 from Rodney. Turn right heading 260. Maintain 5,000 until established on localizer. Clear to localizer. Only 28 left approach. Heading 265 till established. Clear to localizer. 28 left. Aspen Glasses live. Can have us joining right around Yitted. No descent needed yet. Bit of a wind shift there. Back on the gauges. There's the sun that I promised. Coming up on Yitud, 15.3 DME. Right, we're at 15.3, so we're inside Yitud. Means we can now drop to 4,600 for Rodney. Rodney's at 12.8. So down we go to 46. Slightly left of course, fixing it. Forty-eight, looking for forty-three. Twelve point six. All right, we're now inside Rodney. We can drop to forty-one hundred for Waxa. It's forty-one. All right, I actually cannot see that in the primary altimeter really well right now. I can swap to my standby altimeter on the bottom there. It comes Waxa at eleven point five. That's done. Now we're down to three thousand and twenty. Ilku, which is at 8.6. So I keep this thing going, and I keep increasing my power there. Let's leave the power back, start speed reduction, and get this thing slowed, and get the gear out. Aspen 26, Connect Monterey Tower, now 118.4. 18.4, Aspen 26. Okay, looking for 3,020 by 18. Monterey Tower, Aspen 26, localizer to a left. Has been 26 Monterey Tower. Good morning. Wind calm. Check wheels down. Runway 28 left. Cleared to land. Okay, let's know on the gear. Cleared to land. 28 left. Aspen 26. I heard the gear. Aspen 26. Gear down. Aspen 26. Roger. Alright. I'm going to use that standby altimeter again. Six, right, we're inside of that. Now we can drop to MDA 18. The VDP is at 5.3 DME, so no leaving MDA until we're inside 5.3. And quite a bit of back trim, holding a lot of back pressure. That's sorted. 
speed's looking pretty good. We're at 2,600, looking for 18 soon. Coming right. It'll be as low as we go. Three mile final runway two eight left. Right. Eighteen eighty, eighteen sixty minimums. Build in sight. Continuing. Do not leave the MDA until VDP of five point three. All right, we're inside that. Alright, so final check. Three down to green, flap set. We'll start back on. Clear the runway and then up the airplane. Aspen 26, clear on kilo for the military ramp. Aspen 26, Roger, stay on my frequency. Bravo to the ramp. Have a great day. With you, Bravo to the ramp. Thanks for the help, Aspen 26. Okay, back break set. Avionics off. Cut off. Okay, hope that was helpful. So we filed a flight plan, picked up our IFR clearance, pre-programmed ground and tower, briefed the approach pretty much, set up the avionics to shoot the Monterey 5 with the localizer ready to go. Uh, took off, got qu uh, vectored very quickly, quicker than I actually expected for the localizer on my 2. Uh, so that happened um, very quickly. Don't hesitate to ask for delay vectors if you're not quite ready to fly the approach. We shot the approach, went missed. Okay, missed out of Watsonville. Picked up the clearance back to Monterey, parted Salinas on the assigned heading, gave us a 190 heading, and then one last turn to join the approach. And that was it. All right, hope that was helpful.